Coming up now, it's time for the gold medal match in the men's individual compound here in Berlin. 50 meters between the shooting line and the target. And we take a look at how the athletes got to this stage. Evren Kairan of Turkey, 26 years old, came through Budin of Croatia and then took out Schaff. Mike Schlosser, the world number one, is 25 years old. He shot a 690 in the ranking round and took out Araz of Turkey before beating Galantin 145 to 142. It's a great lineup for the gold medal here in Berlin. Let's go down to the range and welcome the athletes out. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the athletes to the field for the compound men's gold medal match. So this for the gold medal here in Berlin. Schlosser already qualified for the finals by winning one of the earlier stages on the World Cup Tour. On target number one, representing Turkey. The average arrow for Mr. Perfect, or Sir Perfect, as he's now known, a 9.8. But he'll be wary of Kairan, who has a much better score in the tiebreaker. But the key thing here is 5-0 for Schlosser against uh, Kairan. But Kairan will have no pressure on him at all. And the important thing to note here is, again, neither archer has to worry about qualifying for finals. They're both in. Mike on stage win. Evren on, on points. We have Gabby standing behind Mike, it looks like, in the coach's box. Yeah, we see Gabby back there. For those not familiar, Gabby is a recurve archer, moved from Mexico to the Netherlands. She's standing behind Sir Perfect, Mike Schlosser, who will shoot first in this gold medal match. Everyone yeah, Kyron yeah, looking yeah. on, and it's a great start Same. from Mr. Perfect. We know Mike's had some trouble at the end of finals matches, so he's really going to want to get a solid lead going into those last final arrows. Opportunity. And he matches <laughs> almost in the exact same spot, those two arrows. Eight. Eight. You wow. heard him. He oh, knew. Yeah. The tips. Big opportunity here for Kyron. Definitely. Can he capitalize? And yes, he does. What a start from the Turkish archer taking a two-point lead after just one end. I'm surprised, I've got to say, because Mr. Perfect, Sir Perfect there, Mike Schlisser, you don't see him shooting nines, he shot eight. Yeah, finals matches have been a struggle for him over the last couple of years. I know World Cup finals in Mexico City, he had uh, had some issues there, and since then he's he's definitely had some struggles in the finals match that he's had to battle through. So this end is going to be crucial for him. Can he come back? Put three in the middle. Yeah, you're right. But that eight, I mean, what a what a shocker, and then capitalized by Evren Kyran. Two X's for the Turkish athlete. He takes the lead. Mike Schlisser will shoot first in the second end. And you see all that weight on Mike's bow. Mike shoots such a heavy bow. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Yeah. 
right on top of each other. That's what he needed here. Three X's. He's going to be feeling good if he can well, do that. Well, you called it. You called that and you called it spot on. But Kyran just outside the 10 ring there. So that's one point back. Strong shot. Good Turkish contingent in the crowd, of course, teammates and coaches. Yeah. Looks like they're calling it a 10. So a 29 plays a 30 in the second end, but crucially, Kyran stealing the first two points, or the two-point lead in the first set, clings on to that lead just by a single point. The pressure builds, though, doesn't it, for the Turkish athlete now, because uh, Schliss has dialed into the centre, and uh, well, unless the wind changes dramatically, uh, he could shoot a perfect score from now. Good. That's very true. So, again, it's going to come down, I think, to the final arrows if it's close. It's really going to be watching Mike on that final arrow when he shoots it. So, again, Mike's going to want to get a lead here. He's going to want to not only close the gap, but he's going to want a little bit of a cushion going into that final arrow. Well, he said he's dialed in. That was the last 10 from Mike Schlisser. Just peeking at the line there. Full of concentration, both of these athletes. Come on, Mike. Gabby Bardo, his girlfriend, picked up a silver medal at the European Games in Minsk last week. And she qualified the spot for Netherlands for the Olympics. Yep. <laughs> Not been a bad season for her. No. She's definitely coming into her own shooting for the Netherlands team. I think it's really doing her well. Well, they're matching each other sure. in the third end here. Yeah. Look at that group Mike has on the X-ring. Just a great group. So there's that point back. So we're all tied. So at this point, Mike's going to want to put the pedal down. He's going to want to gain some points and build a lead. Yeah. Well, another perfect score for Mike Schlisser. Pressure now on Kyran. Needs a 10 to stay level. He does it. Beautiful X. Shaky start from the Dutch athlete, dropping a nine and an eight in the first end. But ever since then, it's all been in the center of the target. And uh, well, Crystal just dialed in. You said, look at the grouping. Yeah, I mean, four X's right in the middle like that. That's some good shooting. And even you take that eight away, then the grouping is amazing. Exactly. And these are the second, well, the, the three tens in that end, a second perfect score for Mike Schlusser. Has a little bit of a, he closes his eyes just before he re releases, opens them just just ahead. Is, was he using the force or? <laughs> Funny you say that because I used to do the same thing with my compound. So, all square, start of the fourth. Again, Schlisser to shoot first. Look at all the weight off that bow. Yeah. I can barely pick up Mike's bow. It's, it's crazy how heavy it is. For those of you back home, that's a lot of weight on that. He's got it on the riser, on the end of each stabilizer. Yeah, he knew he knew that one was going in the middle. Look at this. Kyran has stepped up to the plate here. Look at that bow and that weight you're talking about. Yeah, that allows him. He holds so steady. You see zero movement when he's at full draw. Three perfect scores in a row for 
White Schlisser. Oh, just dropping a point again. So having snuck into the lead early doors, Schlusser has stuck to his game plan, stayed consistent, cut the lead down to nothing, and now he has edged one point ahead with three perfect scores in a row. And Emre Erdinir, the Turkish coach, has his work cut out for him here now. It's not really about technique or, or tactics now. It's more about what's going on in between the ears. Exactly. It's keeping your ultra calm, making sure they can walk through their same shot process, just like they were at home on the range. Forget all the cameras and just shoot your arrows. Well, consistency is the name of the game. Schlusser shooting a 10 to finish things off a third perfect 30 for him the response from Evren Kyran was a nine and that is the lead for Sir Perfect going into the final end Evren Kyran will shoot first so first time in the match that he's got to go first so let's see how that affects each of these archers oh, means so much to the Turkish athlete as well a win here and he's booked his place in Moscow Whoa. He's not giving up easy. He's putting it down there, making Mike do his work. Yeah, then he was a little scared on that one. You could tell it broke a little quick. That is the door open for Mike Schlesser. So if Mike can put a 10 here, that'll give him a little bit of cushion for that final arrow. Yeah, then. And he does. He has not missed the 10 ring since the very first end. See the wind picking up just a little bit. See his shirt. Puts it in the 10 ring. Mike needs that nine for the win. Eight will be a shoot off. Oh my word! Oh, we've got the shoot off. We have got the shoot off. Schlitter dropping one into the eight. It's subject to a measure. Oh my goodness me. And you see the look on Mike's face. He is crushed right now. We have to wait for the official confirmation by the judge on this one. Looking close by. It is an eight, and we have got a shoot-off. Schlusser shot a 10-9-8 in the first end. Since then, he shot all 10s and Xs until that very final arrow, needing a nine to win, drops it into the eight. And Crystal, was it a too sharp a shot? Did he t t go too quickly? No, I think this is this is just something Mike struggled with, that final arrow of the match. Like I said, he knew he needed a lead, and you see, he, dro he, he knew it dropped down. I think uh, And you just got to feel for him. I mean, yeah. you really got to feel for him in this case. Furious, I think, is uh, probably the best word to describe it. A little wry smile on the face of Evren Kyron. He knew he was given a gift. Massive present, early birthday for the Turkish archer, but job not done. He's in a shoot off with Sir Perfect, and can the Dutchman recover from that dropped eight in the final arrow? Targets being replaced as we speak need clear targets. Remind everyone of how the shoot off works. So, in the shoot off, each archer is going to shoot one arrow. The archer with the highest score, scoring arrow wins. If both archers score the same score, then the arrows will be measured and closest to center will win. However, this is compound, so if both archers shoot an X, we will have a second shoot off. Score first, measure second. Exactly, and interesting to note here, Mike's going to be back shooting first. So that does take a little pressure off of him and puts the pressure on the Turkish archer. But the Turkish element of the crowd getting right behind Evren Kyran. Can he finish stage four of the Hyundai Archery World Cup with a gold medal around his neck? Here we go. This for the gold in the men's individual compound here in Berlin.
Another quick one and a high nine. Opportunity here for Evren Kyran. Bang! Straight down the middle. Evren Kyran takes the gold here in Berlin. And he is a World Cup stage winner. Warm hug from Mike Schlusser. What a match, what a turnaround. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't even know what to say. I, like I said, I feel for Mike. I know, I know what, he's, what he's gone through and it's just heartbreaking to watch, but huge congrats to the Turkish archer. He came through when it mattered and he was able to deliver that X in the shoot off. Immense pressure on Kyron as well, having given the same old story. Opportunity presents itself, but the key is capitalizing on that opportunity. And what pressure on one arrow to take the gold here in Berlin. Exactly.